What makes my hats special, I think ultimately is the design and shape and the quality of the actual bodies. Design and shape is a huge part of what I'm known for. And I think another thing is the accoutrements and the aesthetic style that is implemented in the design. And also, if you look underneath the hats, the attention to detail with, with the liner or the sweatband and, and the quality of what's put into it. I started the brand five and a half years ago, but I've been doing this for, you know, eight years, hats specifically. I learned my trade, a lot of trial and error, a lot of like tips from old cowboys in the industry in the Midwest and the Northwest. My customer is really eclectic and the demographic is, it varies tremendously. I mean, it, it can be from musicians to stockbrokers to surfers to athletes. They're dynamic and they're eccentric usually and they have this creative urge, I guess. The use of fire and flames is actually a, a part of the process that's been around for a really long time in hat making. I just took it a couple steps further, but ultimately that is a, is a step in the process where it really cleans up the fibers that are accentuated in the body of the hat. And so it gives it a silkier, smoother finish once you put it on fire. But I left that by accident one day, I think, to go and it just sort of like patinaed and it was a beautiful mistake that I tried to fix and then realized, you know, it looks kind of cool. The sort of on the matchstick for me embodies like the significance of um, the spark of inspiration and the spark of creativity. I, you know, we use a lot of feathers and feathers and then I actually use, a, there's a local person I go to, they have like macaw feathers and they drop their feathers, they shed their feathers like pretty frequently and they're beautiful. I never fell in love with Los Angeles until I came to visit a friend that was in Venice. And to me, it reminded me a lot of New York, like the Lower East Side with skaters and surfers and gang and, and art. And I could identify with it a lot more than other places in LA and still to this day is the case. I love that it was also like an area that was a neighborhood and you could bike or walk around to get coffee. You know, it's really hard to do that in LA. So this was like one of the few places where I was like, okay, I, I you know, don't need to be in my car everywhere.